after that San Diego State. And you'll see on this one as well. Big Boy Slugger, first down and 10. At their own the second time, they're going to get set to see the Falcons offense. And then they're going to drive last week. They had a center for a field goal. I'm sure that's all felt to them. Set it on the head. They should have gotten in the end zone. They're not going to throw it away because that's what you can't do with the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of ball and drive. The defense gets a chance to take a break. They're just a little bit. Maybe get themselves ready. Hey! And we're back to last week and the game before that and the game before that. We're back to the preseason here. The jitters. Dave Angel Derek. He likes to blitz, but sometimes he's going so fast, he crosses that line that separates offense and defense. The boy is super aggressive. Got a lot of high tension energy. Yes, he does. They do it in this case. Number 11, 
intended for a flyout. All right, let's take a look at what went wrong. Usually, Eddie Jane is really spot on, but all right, he could have gone from number thirteen, Zeke. Or Zeke is not even looking. <laughs> But number 10 is is ready. Number 10 is, is just throwing the football. It's, it's Ishmi, baby angel Ishmael, little Ishmi. Ishmi's ready. I mean, he's, he, he might not, I don't know if he's got the first down marker, but he can at least get something done. And then he got over here, number 18, Joshua. Joshua has always had to compete with with uh, Jake, Ishmi, and Elvis Armenius. But Joshua's, well, see if he turns around. And of course, you got Jake, but Jake is sort of triple covered. So I don't think Jake will catch the football. But uh, Elvis Armenius, well, he's somewhere around. I think he's way over here. Yeah. He's a possibility. So. He's waiting for something to happen. And right now he's waiting for him to turn around and he's looking, okay. So that's a strong possibility, number 13. That I wouldn't, no, he's still triple covered. Uh, Jake won't, it won't be six. No, over here, okay. Number 18 is Joshua and Ishmi again. He's got potential. He may or may not catch it because you got number 54 who might even block the catch. He might even just swap the football. And that was how many is, well, he's going to be double covered. So there's no guarantee he'll catch it because you got number 20 ready to swap the football. And you got number 37 to help. So they're all thinking he's going over there. And A. James. He's trying to think, and that maybe that's why he's overthinking. And by the time he's figuring out who's the best one to go to, I mean, that's a no. I don't think that's that's a chance. I mean, and over here, well. Joshua is double covered, so they might even attack the football as it's midair. Ishmi might be able to catch it, and Jake might be able to catch it. And Jake is over here. Here you got Zeke. So indecisive, he's indecisive. Who's the best one to throw it to? And by that time, by the time he's thinking about it, he's overthinking. And he's not even seeing this guy, number 56, coming right at him. So here is the problem. He's overanalyzing. Double covered, possibility. But, you know, if the football is in the air, he'll come in and swap the football. He's covered. Let's forget it. That won't happen. Uh, they'll they'll stop the football. So therein lies the dilemma for Eddie James, and it's just too late.
Did he cross or did his feet touch the ground? Don't plant ideas. I would challenge it. Ah, don't. You're a broadcaster. He's a drone jerk. I want to see an instant replay. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? I want to see it. Did he hit the ground before he crossed? Well, put it up there close and personal. Yeah, he crossed. He hasn't, he hasn't touched the ground. He's in. What is your freaking problem? He's just being him. He's just being a jerk. My gosh, man. Complete to the odd early. A 40-yard gain on the play. 
bring down the good old now. We do talk about this a lot in the offensive receiver job. A simple covering receivers, tackling is an everyone's thing. But in this case, he can work with the good old man. That's for sure. You know, the Cowboys might just win this game. I'm feeling it. How about you, Bobby J? Now, I think the Falcons are going to come back from behind and sucker punch them right against the side of their head. They're going to pulverize them. They're going to wham them and jam them. Gee, somebody forgot to take his meds. <laughs> Second is Jones. 
Max of 46 yard line. They expect the offense to do and right now with that lead. That's where we can buy it. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get up field and try to make some plays in their own field. This drive all the left side. This defense has zero answers for what they see to the field. I'm not sure if you can change things around. Defensively, I keep attacking. I keep doing the football until they make the change. So the big play needs just like that to operate from the red zone now on first down. I want to say something. Oh. Have you noticed that when Eddie James is going to throw to Elvis Armenius, he goes this way? When he's going to throw to Jake, he scrambles this way? And when he's going to throw to Ishmi, he stays around here? Have you noticed that? No. I noticed that. I mean, look. You see, look, he's staying right here, so he's trying right to Ishmi. I noticed that. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> and in the driver's seat right now. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you know about the car, the tractor, the car, the car. Put it on, the point after. And we will be right back. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, Bobby J? Sorry, I put my feet up and then my left foot almost disconnected my nuts. And so my right foot kicked up and I knocked this thing down. What are you yapping about? What's he talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? I don't know. What's he talking about? We'll be right back. 